to my channel and welcome to today's stretching video. We're coming, coming at you with another stretching video. I've been a bit ill, as you can probably hear still, so apologies for this week's videos. One of them's been a short and one of them I wasn't even in. My lovely jazz group back wasn't in it, but I'm back now. So I thought I'd do a mix of a few videos I've done before, but for anyone new and just bring them all together in a new video. As you see by the title, box splits. Right, starting my box split journey. <laughs> A, a fair few times now. This time, I'm determined. I taught at a dance school I used to teach at the other week and all the kids were fully box splits, way more flexible than me and I was like, I need to sort this out. So I've dug out this band again, I've done more research and I'm going to combine video with this band and then also how to do box splits or how to do stretches with this band for box splits. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, and I'm going to stretch almost every night, maybe five or six times a week. It's important to give your legs rest as well. Stretch five or six times a week and I'm going to do this video or do an update every month. I'm actually going to do it this time. Definitely do it till I get box splits, I'm determined. Uh, this band is from Amazon and if you want to purchase it I will pop the link in the description below and I earn a little bit of commission. You guys get one too and then you can also stretch and keep me updated with how you're doing and whether it's helped you or not. So yeah, this was I believe $9.99 from Amazon. A yoga band and here we go, we're going to get going with the first stretch. So. Butterfly, put in your soles of your feet together. Now, if you're just doing a normal stretch, I would always say don't hold your toes, hold your ankles. And you're trying to push your knees down to the side. But what we're gonna do with the band is, um, so this one's got loops, which is really handy because you can hook your feet onto them. I don't know that you can see there. So you can foot, hook, <laughs> hook your feet onto them. So if you pop it behind your back, sit like this and then stretch it and hook it on to your toes so that your foot is it's sitting there in the middle of your foot. Now when you do these stretches, it's really funny, when you take it off you can still kind of feel it on your foot but it feels nice as if you're still stretching. So hook your feet onto it and then you want to try and sit up as much as you can pushing from here and then it's really good, it's really good this one because you can feel it pulling your legs, um, not pull it, yeah, creating resistance, hence why it's called a resistance band, so that when I'm going forwards, my legs aren't tempted to slip forwards there, and uh, it's important again to push from your back rather than curving down like this, sit up nice and tall and push that way. I always say hold a stretch for 30 seconds minimum, or 45 if you want to go a bit further. I'd have this, oh, sorry, if you want to progress your stretch quicker. I uh, would have this quite down low and then do a nice stretch. Here, I'm not gonna stretch um, in time with this video. I'm just gonna show you some different stretches. So yeah, definitely better a bit further down. Keeps your legs pulled in as you're stretching forwards in a butterfly. Okay, let's keep it on our feet here. Next one, it starts to feel like it's going to, not ping off, but it's uh, nice and tight, this one. So putting one leg out to the side with a pointed toe to begin with. Um, there, so you still keep this one hooked onto this foot here and the other one stretched out. And this is working these muscles here, getting you prepared for your box splits. You can lean over to it and then once you're comfortable, or if your legs allow you, flex that foot to get an extra stretch. And again, you want to sit up and over there. And it, this band, right guys, in the other video, I couldn't work it out. I hadn't done proper research, I don't think. It just wasn't really working, if I remember correctly. But it's actually so good because I'm just sat here and it's literally stretching it for me. I don't have to use my hands, you can do for an extra stretch, but I'm just sat here and my leg is being stretched by the band. Fantastic. That's uh, one leg and then obviously make sure you do the other leg, especially for box splits because your legs go the same distance. Whoop, out for the other leg. 
and then yeah making sure that you sit it up and you're still wanting to push this leg down this way rather than bring it up there push it down have that one hooked on there and another stretch there I honestly love stretching guys and I'm stretching in the morning and my optimum time is to stretch in the evening because your muscles are nice and warm but I have been dancing around this morning so they're quite warm already okay the next one actually feels like the band isn't going to do it but it will and it's really good um both legs out to the side so nice and elegant there both legs out to the side it's really stretched now but just adjust it so that it's in the middle there oh yeah it's so good because it's just pulling it's not really pulling it's just making sure that my legs aren't uh going in i don't know what the technical term for that is closing closing my legs just keep it's just keeping them nice and pulled back and i just feel like i'm doing a good stretch when i'm really i'm just sat here so that's good again flex your feet oh i know what this is good for as well it's good for keeping your legs um your knees pointing up towards the ceiling because in this box or straddle position you really don't want your legs to turn in so you don't want your knee to go that way you want your knee and your if you were to flex your feet they'd go up to the ceiling or a bit back rather than towards the front so this is really good for this because it's just pulling them back oh i could sit like this for ages i might actually watch tv like this watch tv i'll come watch tv for ages um and then you can go forwards if you want but this is enough if you're um just sat here because you can really feel it pulling down here and pulling your legs backwards this is a great one i did see on one video that you can bring this up it's more pulling your legs up but i like it down so that it's pulling my legs back because that is what uh, i want to work on okay i'm gonna try and move around while still keeping it on but the next one is like my favorite ever stretch or one of my favorites one of my favorites oh the disco ball might be in the way okay you need a flat wall really but if you lie i don't even think i can put my feet up i'm gonna have to go straight out there against a wall so just pretend i'm against a wall but i've got the disco ball in the way um but here this is a great stretch it's good to do it on a wall so that your legs are being pulled this way um and having the band just pulls them down without you even having to do anything you could just lie like this have a bit of a meditation yeah this is a good one i um used to do it with ankle weights and they help to pull your legs down but this just um holds them both at the same level yeah i like it i love this one this is a great stretch okay i'm, I'm not gonna stay like this it's hard to get out of but just to slowly bend your legs and come up in fact the next stretch i can take one of those off to ele elegantly get out of it right then uh is this the last stretch oh no two more so um lie on your side with just one foot in the band this time and the other one just um, bend it in front lie to the side and then you can use the band to pull this leg down you can um hold on <clears throat> there that's what i want it behind the head to pull it there that way so that you're working on this muscle again to stretch it there be careful not to pull too um, hard, that's why these bands are good because they're only um, letting your muscle go to where it can rather than you pulling it extra and stretching it, so be careful with this one. But that's quite a good one. I feel like I'm uh, Victoria Beckham. <laughs> and then obviously on the other leg, da -da -da, do exactly the same, hook it on, line on your side. Let's hook it behind my head first this time. Oh, no. That is not an elegant way to do it. I'm just holding here for a bit. This might be the thumbnail. <laughs> okay, one more. One more stretch. This one is really good for turnout. So lying on your back. I've got this in my left foot. Um, and then your right leg wants to cross here. Can you see that? Let me do it this way. So left leg up right leg across here so you want your heel 
to be on that leg and this right leg nice and turned out and then pulling it this way and you'll feel it in this right leg here round your gluteus maximus pulling it back again don't pull too far you could do the stretch without the band through your leg there but this is a nice way to also stretch here why not get an extra stretch while you're at it and it's really good for this whole turn out muscle here and then of course do it on the other leg just pop that there so this time the right leg's up left leg across and then pulling in just make sure you don't put it too far across the your foot needs to be on your leg pulling it in to get on that left leg nice stretch for your turnout there and that guys is all my stretches for box splits using a yoga band a resistance band but i think the yoga bands um, are the ones that have the hooks so that is good i have really enjoyed uh, learning how to use this stretch band properly and I am absolutely determined to get my box splits this time so go and get one of these bands join with me in a box split not competition competition with yourself try and better your box splits using one of these bands let me know if this has helped you and keep me updated on my Instagram or on here with how you're doing and I will get back to you next month after I've been stretching with this lots, lots and lots. I might just keep this in my bag and just carry it around everywhere and any minute I have to a quick stretch. No, I'm joking. But definitely determined this time. So go and grab a band and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. <gasps> Guys, I've got a really exciting little mini, mini series coming up next week for a special anniversary of, shall I say, a really good band. There we go. Keep an eye out for that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.